All right, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to set up space drag. I'll give you a few tips to make it just a little bit better. Let's get started. All right, so the first step is gonna be downloading OVR Advanced Settings from the Steam Store. It should look something like this. So you make sure you've got OVR Advanced Settings and then we can move on to the next step. Once you've got OVR Advanced Settings installed, it should show up right here in the bottom of the SteamVR dashboard. So now you open over your advanced settings and you can see there's a bunch of tabs. Don't get confused. Just focus on motion. So you're going to select motion and make sure to enable left hand and right hand. But space drag doesn't actually work yet. We're going to need to bind it to a button for it to work. So we're going to go back and then you're going to go down to bindings at the bottom. And now you should see uh, the controller bindings for your controllers. For this example, I'm going to be binding space drag to the Y button but you could select any button on your controller. It doesn't really matter. Let's bind the Y button to space drag. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this thing that says use as button. And if it isn't there, click the plus symbol. But for now, you're gonna click the edit button here. And you're gonna click more options. And now you have the options for all the ways to press the button. For this example, we're gonna set it to held. So now you're gonna click where it says none and you're gonna look for the one called left hand space drag. Now you click the check mark. So now if you try to hold the button, you should be able to drag yourself up and down a little bit. I have a few extra tips to make space drag just a little bit better. Normally with space drag, you can move yourself from side to side in any direction you want. But if you wanna move only up or down, what you can do, go to over your advanced settings then open offsets, and then within offsets, you set lock X and lock Z. This locks the other axes, so you can only drag yourself up or down. Another tip that makes space drag way better is to go into the motion tab again, and you'll see over here that you have a drag multiplier. This makes you able to drag yourself up way higher or way further down with less movement. So what you can do is you can click on this, and set it to something like 10. So now what you'll have is you'll be able to move yourself up way more with way less movement and makes it very easy to do quick adjustments with barely moving your controller. A little extra tip here, if you wanna be able to quickly reset your position, you can go and bind something like double pressing to what's called reset offsets. If you bind it to reset offsets, it resets any of the dragging you've done and puts you back on the floor. So you can drag yourself around all you want, double tap, boom, back on the floor. Easy peasy. This is also pretty helpful if you haven't locked dragging yourself in other directions and you just wanna reset your play space. 